Apparently it's going down at Ross Dress for Less. Soon too, I promise you that okay. you no good. Okay, that's fine. You guys want to cr Bye, have a call day. racism? You're more racist than what you have ever been. Fuck you, you black And there's the racism. Okay, that doesn't bother me. Fuck you. Okay, have a good day. Don't, don't get a on your porch like a fucking monkey. She doubles down on the racism. Get out. The employee may keep her cool, but she should never be put in the position to have to. This is a disgusting, repulsive, racist act by this unquestionably racist person. Recall there was this man. What's your problem? What's your dumb problem? You don't know the law, that's how stupid you are. Also in a Ross dress for less, using foul, racist language and anti-gay slurs. Tim Gaskin, seen here, was charged by police. We'll see how they feel about you not wearing a mask. You're not going to force me to wear a mask if I got health issues. It's called the Americans with Disability Act. Stupid. And yet at another retail store, this man confronted an employee after being asked to put on a mask. This is my land as much as it is yours. And of course, who could forget good old Caravelle in Texas? Why do frontline employees have to deal with people like this all the time? It's not just once or twice. We see these instances continuously over and over and over again. In the clip posted on TikTok, the white woman can be seen yelling in the face of the black female employee who the poster identified as the manager of the store near the entrance doors. The angry customer is not wearing a mask, although other customers appearing in the video are not either. And it's not clear whether or not they are required. The manager is wearing one, as are some others in the clip. You're a, as you can see, you're a MFB is what you are, the white customer yells. Please leave, the manager responds calmly. Oh, I'm leaving, the white woman says. Please leave, I'm asking nicely, the manager replies. You effing no good B, the woman adds. She then goes and yells in the manager's face again. Call it racism, B word. You're more racist than blank. The white customer continues to scream. F you, you effing black B, as she heads to the exit. The woman then leaves the store, but abruptly returns to yell more racist insults at the manager, shouting something about sitting on the porch like a blank, as you can see. Hear me clearly. America is not a racist country. Oh, contraire, Senator Scott Oh, contraire. Survey results released by NPR slash PBS NewsHour slash Maris poll in mid-May show that 42% of Americans believe race relations have worsened over the past year. A poll carried out by the news organization a year prior shows that two-thirds of Americans believe former President Trump worsened race relations in the country. Following the failure of capitalism, Ross Dress for Less has not issued a statement about the incident. So that O'Brien wrote, I'm going to need names. Who was the nasty lady who called the black woman a monkey? Please tell me she's been identified. One user wrote, she started with the I'm not racist, you're racist, but couldn't concentrate long enough to hold that form. Doc put it like this. She really got heated when Miss Manager Lady said, that doesn't bother me. Have a nice day. I thought she would explode. It really ticked her off. She wasn't getting a reaction.